All right, if you're trying to hook up a drip system to your bird bath, here's an idea you might want to consider. Uh, this is the bird bath. It's an Allen Roth bird bath that I purchased at Lowe's. And this is a dripper that I bought online. You can see there, it's a universal type that just sits on the edge of most bird baths. And then down here, we have the micro tubing and a little valve which allows me to control and regulate the flow and that's quarter inch uh, micro tubing for drip lines and it's running under the mulch up against the foundation around the corner of the house there the drip unit ships with 50 feet of micro tubing i only use 25 feet of it so anyway the uh, tubing is buried under the mulch there behind the bushes comes to here here is my faucet now normally you would hook the uh, drip line straight up to the faucet i tried that i even tried hooking it up to a sprinkler timer a battery operated hose timer i did several things it just didn't work because city code where i live requires these backflow preventers on all exterior faucets and what happens if you turn the pressure up um, all that extra water can't go anywhere because of the micro tubing and it backs out and starts dripping out of the backflow preventer or if you turn the faucet down to just a trickle I still get a drip here so I was dripping more water here at the faucet than I was at the actual dripper so that option just wasn't working to me I didn't want to leave the faucet on all the time and I didn't want to have this constant drip on the side of the house so I have a rain barrel just the other side of this fence which I'll show you in just a second but here is the micro tubing right here running uh, I got a little paver here by the uh, hose and it's running along the foundation you can see it there going behind the fence and if we go through the gate we have all this gravel here on the side yard because nothing will grow here it gets full sun in the hottest part of the day so shade loving plants get fried and sun loving plants are in shade the rest of the time so we have just opted to go with all this gravel down this little side of the house here between us and the neighbor's fence. Anyway, back to the micro tubing. It's buried under the gravel. Runs to my rain barrel. You can see the micro tubing back here. Pops up through the center block. I left myself a little slack just in case. And then it connects to my splitter. I can fill a water can from this one obviously or hook up a hose do whatever i need to do and this is my rain barrel connected here to the rain gutter which is running all the way up and pulling rain from the uh, second story and on this side i cut a three quarter inch hole in the side of the rain barrel and slipped in an old piece of hose that runs down about a foot and a half uh, into the barrel and to that hose i attach this ball valve when it's closed it obviously closes the valve and prevents mosquitoes flying in and getting into my rain barrel and laying eggs so it's closed right now if i run out of rainwater, i've got this quick connect here and i've got one on the hose that we just saw on the other side of the gate and i can hook up the garden hose to this real simply and fill this with water and that will continue coming down the drip line down the 25 feet of micro tubing and to the bird bath where it continues to drip now we had three inches of rain yesterday so the rain barrel is full and it's dripping at about once every other second so that's uh, 30 times a minute as the rain barrel gets lower, it'll slow down to eight times a minute or once every 12 to 15 seconds. And basically, if I look out the window and I see that it's not dripping, I know that the rain barrel is either too low to provide enough pressure or it's empty. So I can either fill it with a hose or just wait till it rains again. My decision. The top of this dripper is at a height of right here. This is at a height of 28 and a half inches and the spigot on the rain barrel is 29 and a half inches and the rain barrel goes up two feet beyond the spigot so i've got enough height to provide uh, enough flow from gravity to come up here to my dripper so 
you're looking for a way to hook up your dripper and use rainwater for your bird bath, there's an option for you.